Yeah! Welcome! Woo! We out here. <laughs> we back. We, we back again. We man. back. Now, as you might know, my name is Erps Urban or whatever you like to call me. Next to me, I have Case. And AK. you can just call me Space Case as well. And we have our fantastic guest. L. L. Deep, born and raised in Amsterdam, where we're at right now. Cool, cool, Woo. cool. Like a real Sin City citizen. Is yeah. It? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Well, what I already know about you is like, next to the fact like you're a poet, Spoken word artist. Yes. I do know that you're a hell of a nice battle MC. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, elaborate, man. Like, what is it what you do right now, man? Tell right me. now, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing spoken word. Spoken word is like a, uh, like a new version of poetry. So you can mm -hmm. see this poetry not being as vague as we all think about poetry, Shakespeare and stuff, but more right. like in a modern way. So connected. Colorful assets. Yeah. So, so, so I want to reach everybody. So tomorrow I'm I'm gonna perform at Lowlands, the the festival, mm -hmm. and I know sure. like I want to write um, stuff that everyone can relate to, and not only be so deep that it will be not understandable anymore. Yeah, I see. So even that. people that don't like it, they're like, oh, cool, I can get the punchline, I can get the feeling. So what it comes down to, I can understand is like instead of like uh, 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 writing about like really arty farty stuff and be yeah. like shakespeare nowadays you can easily just talk about like doing a number two but the way you're expressing it and the way you're experiencing yeah. the number two that's yeah, what exactly it's yeah, more, exactly. more direct than uh, yeah it's than, more uh, direct like the the, the, the 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 subjects i talk about can be serious mm -hmm. mostly but also like humoristic but it's very like it's very direct so people uh will understand it most yeah. most people will understand and that's how you reach a bigger crowd and that's how you can get more uh, performances because I perform at non spoken word uh, uh, places also mm. because be sometimes for for the um, uh, the government that do stuff for the Amsterdam city uh, like for the mayor and blah blah blah. And I then you a, say this this new bridge was no, like literally oh, like right, with a, right, like right. like I did it even for for housing for housing mm. projects. I happened to see you during the World Cup tournament a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, is correct. Or yeah. was it World Cup or was it European Championship? Uh, the European um, uh, 2016 Euro on, uh, on 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 TV on TV. Ah, I saw. Analyzing. Yes. Uh, analyzing the Albania games. Yeah, yeah, oh, crazy. Yeah. Even course. even did a small shot at the uh, Rafael van der Vaart. Yeah, I yeah. I, di I did something like like that too. Like I they asked me like uh, they googled me before at the show. I wasn't planning on rapping because I worked together with professional football players, so they yeah. invited me to talk mm -hmm. about uh, my job and about uh, football. But then they googled me and like, oh, he's a battle rapper. So like, I think five minutes before. The live show, actually. They put you on the spot. They like said, that. like, do you want to, like, do a, a freestyle about the game after the game? Like, But this is live. And this is NOS. This has mm. four million people. If I fuck up, yeah. and you both know about this because you, yeah, 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 you yeah. make music. Like, if I fuck up now, I really, I fuck up. Yeah. But I didn't fuck up. But... Mm. And I came straight from Curaçao, Urban. <laughs> <laughs> so I came. I, I had like a, a jet lag. Like fuck. Jet lag still uh, going on, and then all of a uh, sudden you have to rap about it. I fell for the fart. Yeah. It doesn't make any but sense. But it worked out. It worked out. Yeah. And is it all also uh, always without music, uh, spoken word? Like uh, what m what I do, yes. But you do have spoken word artists that uh, uh, do stuff with or uh, orchestras oh, or yeah. like some with guitar players. It depends. Mm -hmm. I do it mostly a cappella, which is really convenient for me because I have a hip hop history. But yeah. you don't have to think about staying on beat. Right. So when I do my spoken word performances, I sometimes have a a, a breath pause of like yeah. Like like two five seconds, which you couldn't take in on a beat. Exactly. Okay. So people uh, like I have a punchline. I let it sink in for five seconds, and I start a new sentence. And that's like you can really focus on the delivery because yeah. there's no music. Yeah, right, true, right, true, right, true, right. true. But you can still be rhythm uh, rhythmical with words. Right. Indeed. It's always. Uh, 
it's always hard for me to understand when there's a, a spoken word artist who does have music yeah. and they don't stay on the beat because I also had the rapping yeah. background. <laughs> and then I think that I have like, what? Yeah. Then I always think just it leave the so music. Unconventional, what yeah. I always yeah. experience. I mean, like, and especially like the spoken word artists that I uh, that I've seen. No offense to no one, but yeah. like. <laughs> they have a bad taste for taking beats because yeah. like they they use a beat like you can easily hear like man like you can easily hear wolves crying on it yeah. and I mean like man at least get something attractive to yeah. it like yeah and sometimes the association uh, yeah, yeah. with with spoken word is 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 that exactly and then like oh it's like a guy with like a really uh, tormented soul. E experimental beat and then he goes off with yeah, the minds of the soul with the body i take control and he's like this and people but that's not like me at all so it's like that's right. kind of the cliche yeah, image, right right, for right. Yeah. it, it, it kind of has a bad rap <laughs> yeah, uh, for, kinda, for for a lot of rappers it's like okay if you go the spoken word yeah. then, then you then you're th th that's not good no but no. of course there's a whole uh yeah. way you can do it the right way yeah it's only a problem that a lot of people just um don't do it right yeah but you right. do it right right <laughs> thanks yeah yes. nice nice well what's your specialty because mm. from what i do know from uh battling yeah. it's a lot about freestyling like i've seen a lot of battles from you where at one point you had some schemes yeah but then you flipped it out like freestyling yeah yeah like i like like most uh most if i do a spoken word performances i mostly do my written stuff that i have like and uh, I think my specialty is um, I, I try to uh, tell sometimes a serious story with punchlines, but the punchlines still have to uh, uh, make sense. So yeah. don't force it. So right. uh, because if you force a punchline, if you're talking about like I have like a piece about my father, like the relationship I have with my father, I didn't mm -hmm. know him for a long time. Mm -hmm. Right. But I like to have like wordplay and not only like the the story itself but the, the wordplay doesn't have to uh it really has to make sense right not like oh it's a punchline but it, why is he it doesn't make sense in this whole piece so i think my specialty is to to use punchlines in serious uh, stories because mostly punchlines that came from battle rap and rap are used in boasting and posting and boasting and bragging right right, like right saying like i'm the i'm better than blah 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 blah. right but i'm let's let's use punchlines like serious stories but still like people are still smiling because oh yeah i get that i get the wordplay but it's still yeah do, do you use it as a, as a kind of a relief so when you tell when you're telling a real s serious story and yeah. just throw a punchline in there so people uh get the opportunity to think oh that's uh that's uh exactly that's funny or so, something so so people are not like really like it's a serious story but i don't yeah. want people to be sad like they're oh he's right he just said that and that so that's that's the, the kind of uh, what i uh, uh what i do all right all right uh, how i approach every piece do you do it solo or do you use other people that you uh, perform um, with no like i'm a i'm a part of a we have like a, a sometimes I have a group like tomorrow in Lowlands I'm with five artists, mm -hmm. but we all do our individual uh, stuff. All right, but we're right. booked as five artists. As five artists, right? But we don't like my 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 material is not uh, related to to their material. It's my. It individual. isn't at all, or no. sometimes it is. Like depending on the show. Uh no, like um, uh, I did a piece with someone together, but that's just a collabo, like you do in music yeah. as well. But True. But but mostly it's like everyone does their own stuff and everyone has a unique style. As, and as an ensemble, as a group, you're really interesting to look at because everyone is different. way different. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Like uh, I'm going to ask you a very nasty question right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, oh it's, go uh, no, yeah. it's going down now. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. It always will. Yeah. But uh, like, for example, yeah. wake up tomorrow. Yeah. You have to choose uh. rapping or spoken word. Or a bullet to the head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's easy. Of course, he'll take a bullet to the head. No, he's done. Right. No, no, I actually, no. like, uh, this is going to be a, maybe a politically correct answer, okay. case, case in urban. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I think because my spoken word is so related to rap also, I think you know it when you hear it, that mm. I will choose spoken word, but still use the elements of rap in it. Because that's what <laughs> I do now. You think? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, if yeah, you yeah, listen yeah. to my spoken word, you can see my background right away. So ah, all right, yeah. it's right, not right. I'm not like yeah. It's so there's like there's not there's not a lot of distance between it. 
No, it's like still I still have the the same uh, the same speed that you do in rap. Sometimes I, I have a flow in a spoken word piece. Yeah, even a flow uh, like a cappella. Yeah. And I and I can probably spoken word is something you can really do on your own. Yeah. I don't know if you make also make beats, but no. the problem, yeah, that's already a problem with <laughs> trying to make a rap song. Yeah. You can't really make a rap song if you if you uh, you need another person for for a beat. Yeah. But I can understand the spoken word is something you can just uh, get out of bed and do it and write. <laughs> and yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, like, but it's harder because I have pieces and. Because you both are musicians, it's really cool to talk about it. I yeah. have pieces of six minutes, yeah, and I, I'm I, I'm trying to learn it like by head, so I never uh, I never perform with uh, with uh, right. r- reading. Right, so that, that's a six minute um, piece, and it's like it has no chorus because it's a so it's a six minute verse. That's cool. Think I'm about like it as a minute. That's <laughs> six. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> it. I I really, fu- uh, but I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do any drugs. Yeah. So I'm really like my mind is really sharp. So I'm yeah. really fast in learning. But to yeah. learn six minutes, it's gonna it's take hard. a lot of practicing. But it, I do understand it's a kind of a freedom. Like it's really not done to make a song with a verse that <laughs> is six like six no, minutes. No, that's but there's one. also there's also very much uh, a problem I always have. I yeah. was, as a matter of fact, yeah. from what I heard, there are some managers right now that that tell you like you're not allowed to create a song longer than two minutes. 30. Exactly because the right. pop the, the the popular songs, uh, the popular songs yeah. that the kids listen to, they have a short attention span. Yeah, right, right indeed. So when I do a uh, spoken word performance, and sometimes I'm, I was performing at Solar last four years. Mm-hmm. Solar is a very big kind of hip hop festival. Yeah, right. And every no one, c- I, I I know I'm booked there. Uh, they pay me, but no one comes there for spoken word. People come there to have a good par- uh, party time and yeah. listen to hip hop and stuff. Go right. to live performance. The music, not yeah. not 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 the, not the words so no. much. No, so yeah. I was like, fuck, I have to perform. How am go- how am I gonna keep attention who are f- from people who are yeah. f- high as fuck? Yeah, yeah, drunk, drunk. Yeah. This is a, a, a famous festival. But then I uh, uh, I try to put like things in my delivery that it's gonna be so versatile the way I because it's also theatric what I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That people are still after five minutes. Okay, I'm still listening. It's not monotone like the. Mm. It's like ba 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 ba. Even in my voice, like I'm, I'm taking high, this with low. me. Huh? Well, uh, it's good you know that you're saying this because now uh, we we wrote a uh, Urban and us um, and me wrote wrote a little uh, a sexy poem. Okay, let's and, go. Uh, and uh, and and now that you're telling me this, I think ah, oh, there's, there's there's a lot of opportunities there. Yeah. I can just emphasize words more or less exactly at, uh, at uh, different spots and uh, it make, it, sound make it make it hit harder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does sound interesting. Yeah. Like I've been asked to do it a few times, and um, uh, so far I've always said no. And it was more due to the fact, like I was like, man, the challenge of like, uh, like I, I'm really a musician, so I really love the idea of having a beat while yeah. I'm doing it. But then at the same time, yeah, the way you're explaining it, it, it might make it very, very reliable uh, for me to it's try. It's very out. weird because I also uh, w- w- was really not the guy who would do spoken words, but now that I tried it, yeah. uh, I, I, I sat down for like five minutes and wrote this uh, romantic poem uh, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hmm, oh. ex- exactly those points you yeah. already mentioned that yeah. you don't that you can really emphasize a word at the end of the sentence, and you don't have to. Go right ahead yeah. and, uh, and 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 start the next. Uh, no, you can. Thing. You're very free creatively. Yes. yes, but now that we are talking about yeah. it, uh, we we uh, I I can see on my paper that you uh, contributed ten poems to the Kiro magazine erotic poetry special. Yeah, for so the Valentine's Day uh, special. Yeah. So is you this did. something you uh, you do uh, on a regular basis? You are you uh, has, do you write a lot of sexy uh, poems? Well, poetry? it's funny you ask because uh, normally I write in Dutch because it's my okay. first language. Yeah. I never like I I used to write in English back when I was rapping, right. uh, but but not like for the last 8 years not anymore. Okay. But uh, I was talking to Rashid. He 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 he, uh, he asked me about it, and I was like, yeah, sometimes I write English, and it was a, a challenge again for right. me to write, and and like to write about sex or love. That's something I do in my normal, like in my Dutch right. work, right, right, in a creative way. Right. Like, uh, but um, I think you be can be very create creative about vulgar stuff yeah not that i think I it's vulgar it. but the public will think it oh that's vulgar that's maybe disrespectful yeah 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 but you can be very creative like yeah. uh 
I have a whole piece in Dutch about women in in general, like, and it's about about me traveling in every country and blah 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 and meeting different women. But it's not disrespectful. I got hoes. Yeah, but it's. I not. got hoes. But then the poetic form. Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you know area. what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because it's it's hard, uh, but it's also uh, an opportunity. When you say something, this is already in rap also yeah. true, but if you say something uh, vulgar, but how you say it, that, yeah. can, that can also get, be, yeah. everybody understands, oh, this is funny. This, yeah, he, yeah. this is not, he's not really serious about this. This is yeah. uh, funny. But it's also like with, uh, how do you call them? The little sexy books. Yeah. There's a there's a risk of it being corny. That, yeah. That's what I uh, yeah. found very hard about uh, about being kind of serious but also uh, yeah. romantic and sexy and then I, i i always it's a challenge to me to 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 make it yeah to make it serious is yeah. is 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 i have the yeah I, i it always becomes very funny uh yeah. and yeah it it must be isn't it hard to make it make a serious romantic poem do, does the feeling creep up that you say oh maybe this is corny or do you really yeah. like, this is Some solid romantic. I, I think every time I write a romantic stuff, there is a there is a sense of uh, there is a, a part that's humoristic all the time, yeah, yeah. and there is a part that that don't take it uh, literally 100%. Oh, right, right, right. So it's uh, even I can like because that's that's not how my character is. Also, mm. like I can be like serious and a whole piece about a girl, and there has to be like a punchline which is funny right. or like a thing, uh, even though. The, the 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 goal or the the thing you want to say is that you love her very much or something that's mm. the end conclusion but mm. still you can be very funny because me yeah. i don't like like i hate corny stuff also right nobody I, likes no, corny no, stuff i, I think, think in the end but it's it's, yeah. it's better to make uh, the girl laugh than yeah. uh, that will probably make uh, make you winner over faster i, I heard hope. wise people say like uh, food and humor is the way to a girl's heart so right yeah. And our pussy. You, <laughs> <laughs> but humor is, is underrated still in getting like. You think? Uh, I with, with, with yeah. like 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 with uh, you can really uh, get someone to like you by humor. Like, yeah. but guys still think like. Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's also it, it. We would say, of course, we have this experience. Like when you're creative and funny, yeah. we know that it works. But there's there's also the the the, the consensus that uh, well you have to be a real man what you yeah, were trying yeah. to say uh, well if you are a man you must be yeah. like uh, okay baby here <laughs> i am i i i play i, I play sports yeah. i have these muscles but which can be funny as yeah. well like looking at like yeah. <laughs> look at my strength that's so funny yeah. how often you go to the gym that's so yeah. that's so funny to me Yeah. So, <laughs> so, Mr. LD, question. What's like, up, uh, Irma? Yeah. Talk to me, Irma. I'm listening. Oh, man, I will, man. I will. <laughs> like, you, you won't get away that easy. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, But yeah. question, like um, uh, making a living out of it, is yeah. it easier uh, comparing it with rap? Well, that's uh, that's a good question and a, and a subject which, which is really interesting, especially in, in a country like the Netherlands, which is a small country. True. Given that the fact that I write in Dutch 90%, knowing that you could only reach a selectable audience True. so the, the the people here i mm -hmm. perform in uh belgium a lot the, the dutch speaking uh, mm -hmm. part of belgium but then Flemish. it's tough that's mm -hmm. the same as as if you're a dutch rapper you know yeah. my crowd is going to be um um holland um belgium maybe suriname or curaçao yeah. also right, right. but True. it's gonna stop there yeah. mm -hmm. so be but spoken word became more Uh, years ago, it became more accessible. Mm -hmm. You know, I pref uh, uh, I'm a part of an organization, uh, and we do events ourselves. It's called uh, Mensen Zeggen Dingen. All right. Mm -hmm. And we have a monthly um, a night in um, Echo, Utrecht, Paradiso, Amsterdam, uh, Nijmegen, Antwerp, and it's sold out every month in every location. Really? Crazy. Yeah, because... Um, and we also have something... We uh, sometimes big names out of the hip-hop industry take like a step outside and they come perform. Typhoon performed with spoken word, only Typhoon, mm -hmm. just Aquasi, Fresco. Mm -hmm. And it's very different. It's very challenging for them. Well, because from what I can see, these are guys like knowing them, like, uh, by the way, they're Dutch artists. They're so Dutch yeah. hip hop artists. But yeah. yeah. But from what I know, like um, they're very uh, renowned for their lyrical skills. Exactly. So it basically means that those guys they already have like some kind of standard of level of the way they write 
Exactly. So, for instance, uh, in uh, let's let's keep it international. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, 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 spoken word came from deaf poetry. Well, most deaf and Kanye West uh, um, performed as deaf poetry. They did spoken word, mm -hmm. uh, even when they were uh, getting more famous. And of course, deaf poetry, which was um, uh, a thing created by Def Jam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they know we're not gonna, uh, with all due respect, we're not gonna invite Snoop Dogg because his lyrics are not that interested to listen to. Yeah. And his style is not that um, uh, that in that form that no. you can listen. Yeah. Yeah. But most he deaf really shines in combination with a beat. Exactly. Yeah. True that. But like if maybe like yeah. knowing the song like Imagine, for example, like if you would do it in spoken word, man, I would be a hell of a fan of that yeah. one. Maybe it's a bad yeah. example, Snoop Dogg, but uh, someone yeah. who's not known for their like a little pump. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, like a little a yeah. little pump was. Uh, um, they're not. We're, uh, we're not gonna ask him like those kind of artists because people. It's gonna be very uh, boring. Uh, boring. But if you ask most yeah. deaf or in Holland people like Aquasi, Fresco, yeah. They 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 said yes because they th they think oh that's, that's cool and people are really going to, and after the performance I remember uh. talking to I don't know maybe it was I guess it was uh, Fresco I mm -hmm. talked to and then he said eh, it's so weird because people are really reacting to my lines yeah and when I have a beat they they hear the beat but now people are like really it's going too fast for them right yeah so it was it's cool for them also yeah. because they want to be known for their lyrics kind yeah, of yeah I can I can understand yeah. that true true. So um so right now I'm like I'm a I'm a freelance journalist but I'm I can um, partially live off of uh performing but it's also a combination of giving wor uh, spoken word workshops but it's like 50/50 50 /50, so uh all right I'm a journalist for AT5 which is an Amsterdam uh, news uh, station local channel yeah. and I work there two days a week sometimes three days a week and uh as a editor and um uh, like a text editor and a reporter, mm. and I do the spoken word stuff. So Did you already made a poet for Aisha. No, <laughs> uh, no <laughs> which I would do. She doesn't work there anymore. Huh? No, I know, uh, I know. She doesn't work there no. anymore, right? I think she moved to like the the, the, yeah. like the bigger uh, channel. The bigger or something channel. Like that. Yeah. Ah, she's on RTL Four now. Like kind of. Uh, uh, kind of. Yeah, I something think she's like on the she's on the public channel, right? Like yeah, uh, yeah. MPO or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like oh, something yeah. like that. No. Right, right. So romances or eroticism. Um, right about erotic romance. Hey, erotic! Wow, that's an interesting, that's an interesting answer, right? Well, Case you can expect Urban? that yeah, answer well. from a spoken word artist. Well, right? I can erotic I can't, romance. I can't uh, write like uh, eight lines. Uh, I always am having uh, uh, a lot of times. I'm having sex with somebody in my first eight lines that I write anything. So uh, I can understand. You can make everything a punchline, guys. And I have yeah. a Dutch poem where I sa uh, says. This uh, this G spot all your gevoelige plekken. The translation is this G <laughs> spots <laughs> all your sensitive places. Yeah, 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 like yeah. a G, like uh, you know, you, hey right. G. Gangsta. This G spots all your sensitive places. So you can yeah. even have like erotic yeah. and turn that into a punchline. Multiple line. interpretations. Yeah, yeah. everything yeah, yeah. is possible. Like and uh, have you ever had the experience that uh, somebody came up to you like, well, oh, this was so, this was such a sexy poem, El Deep. Yes. Yeah. You're being sarcastic, Mister Space Case. No, but it really, no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. really happened. Like, do you have groupies? Like, uh, yeah. are there no, groupies? Are there standing? spoken word groupies? Yeah. Uh, because it's because <laughs> I, it's, it's of course there are, but but because it's so the focus is so much on on lyrical content yeah. that they're they're different kind of groupies than uh, than uh, groupies who are into music i would expect yeah, yeah like to be, yeah like you just yeah. mentioned like fresco was surprised about the fact like they were reacting to his lines so yeah. you might think that if you're talking about erotic romance yeah. that a lot of girls if i may ask yeah. they might be aroused by the lines right he L knows to find he knows how to find all my spots L let me tell you something my cousin who's sitting back there yeah, yeah. You know, he came to my performances uh, a few times mm -hmm. i think 80 percent are female why poetry is mm, sensitive of course. Yeah. but as a guy you say uh, you uh, what do females like a sensitive guy who's also manly and a little bit tough but he's sensitive uh, yeah. and being open and he can cry and he can cry, but he can also be uh, tough and be yeah, a little bit right. cocky. Do you think right, that right, will right, be an right. asset that will be that that might happen? Like doing a spoken word at one point, it might be too sensitive for you, and you might cry. 
No, because I always, uh, like I said, I always keep that humor and punchline with me. Mm. Ah, right, so right. even if uh, I have a, a piece about uh, a friend of mine who's uh, uh, man manically depressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you think about, well, uh, you have a piece of seven minutes about uh, yeah. one of your closest friends who's been manically depressed for 12 years, been yeah. sitting at home. And even that piece, there, there are parts that, that are funny and like, oh, okay. But not uh, like funny as in a uh, black comedy, black humor. Yeah, like yeah, uh, yeah. But, but I do wonder: does it happen that people uh, that people I, I I can understand that that it would also be very uh, relatable if somebody if it would happen that somebody yeah. was talking about uh, let's say a deceased friend or a yeah. relative and uh, and and uh, does it happen that people break down? Uh, uh, yeah, like uh, like like like, uh, like if I have a I have a piece about my father, which is yeah. it a general thing that people. Uh, uh, didn't have contact with their father growing up right, or didn't right. see their father. A mm. lot of people. Mm -hmm. And if you, the chances are 90% that if you uh, uh, perform in a crowd, there are people who can relate to your story. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think I would because yeah. to be honest, like I know who my father is, but yeah. like he's not like he's, not he's not been there life. like not. Yeah, a, exactly not with life. me. I know him, mm -hmm. but he hasn't been in my life all my life. So yeah. uh, I performed that, but because I performed that a lot, a after a while, your my feeling of performing, I don't get emotional because right. I've done it a hundred times. Right, right, true. Right. But true. people hear it for the first time who are in the crowd, and they go, "Whoa, you really like, yeah, like sometimes with tears, like you really, yeah. you verbalized my feelings." Right. Well, yeah. sticking to emotions, then mm -hmm. what's the, what's your favorite <laughs> this emotion? This is a good bridge. Yeah, yeah I like well, this. Right? Uh, I like this. Uh, Hey, that's what we do, man. <laughs> that's what we do. What was the question? Build bridges. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, we build. Right. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite emotion? Like, uh, what kind of emotion do you like uh, to see in the audience? That really makes you feel like, man, nailed it. Um, yeah, excitement. But not excitement uh, to keep it, to, ke to keep this in a sexual concept. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep it sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Kiro, man. Let's keep it sexual. Do you uh, ever <laughs> use a dildo during your... <laughs> 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 like, dildo. <laughs> You might look strange uh, to me. Yeah. <laughs> you, could, you could probably do it, right? You could do a dildo monologue, right? Um, yeah. Ah, uh, thanks to our lovely director. <laughs> it's all about dildos again. Dildo. You're, I wish my dick was as big <laughs> as you. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's like... It's, like um, it's the fact that I love uh, females, that I wouldn't be able to be very poetic about a dildo. But I think a female, uh, there are females uh, like, uh, this is interesting mm -hmm. because sexually females are, um, um, if, if a female is open, uh, like a female poet about uh, having uh, sex or mm -hmm. sexual stuff, right. she's considered more of a, uh, a whore. Really? Not not for me, but like in it's it's different when a guy is like open about sex than when a girl is really. It's still kind of a taboo. It's yeah, tabo if man, a girl yeah. talks about like I fucked so many guys, it's still different. Uh, not for me, but no, for no. the public. Then then if a uh, if a if a if a guy yeah. talks about oh then he's a cool guy, man. He he yeah. fucked a lot of girls. Yeah. And what if the girl does the same? And, right. and if a girl would perform with this thing, it would still be like. Yeah, people are even more, more conservative. Really? Even even at me a lot of no, people no, no. are I'm, more I'm quite surprised yeah. about it because, like, I would, I would like at least expect spoken word to be like uh, a bit more progressive in ways of thinking. Yeah, I, I don't mean like spoken word necessarily, but uh, I mean, yeah. Trump deal. <laughs> it made us feel a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Try not to look at it. It's, it's yeah. there, but uh, yeah. But um, no, I, I mean like. Uh, sometimes, of course, you have people in spoken word audiences that uh, that are new, uh, and they still like it's 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 still hard for a woman. We still don't live in equality. Wow, this yeah. is getting <laughs> political. And yeah, but it's about <laughs> it's, 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 it's a time. We about. It's a time yeah. we're living in. So when we're getting uh, in a lot of television programs and in the people like us who uh, talk uh, talk amongst ourselves, yeah. a lot of things are accepted. Like we don't care what gender you are. If you want to change your gender, yeah. if you are a girl who fucks a lot of men, if you are a man who fucks a lot of girls, but the yeah. but but let's say all the people in the country, they're yeah. still they're still like uh, they still hold on to all these old. Things like okay, yeah. men are supposed to do it, and they can do yeah. these stuff, and the women can do these stuff, and it's so there's it's crazy. Are, is are they very conservative about it? Like the audience, for example, they might and it yeah, like, looks uh, like it sometimes is. Sometimes it it depends on the audience, of course, but sometimes yeah. it's uh, 
you have like a girl and th- she has a really explicit poem, mm-hmm. a sexually explicit poem. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's not even that uh, explicit, but they're really like, wow. Uh, and it depends also culturally. If the girl yeah. has a, a, a certain cultural background and yeah. people see that and there, uh, I, w- I will not name names, but there are yeah. girls like, oh, she came from a culture where sex is very taboo. She's yeah. now on the stage talking about how she and her boyfriend have sex, like literally, yeah. uh, like exp- uh, describing explicit, f- explicit. Yeah. It's it's really like people are still m- maybe there are people in the crowd who share the same cultural background and they're looking at her. It still happens, yeah. Yeah, really, it does. Yeah. In 2018, Urban. No, oh, fuck, man. so weird. Unbelievable, unbelievable. But yet it happens though. Yeah. So like, uh, does it get you late a lot? <laughs> um, it's not like um like li- like. Let like me just put it this way: uh, <laughs> How much of the previous women you uh, dealt with uh, ha- have been coming into your life due to uh, spoken word? Well, I uh, this is an interesting question because like um, spoken word, the scene is not that. The, uh, you gr- see how political he yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah, of course, you yeah. want numbers, man. <laughs> he doesn't want to, uh, this excerpt to end up uh, on uh, my Instagram saying. <laughs> Fuck everybody who comes to my show. No, it's not, Thank not you, a good Case. Look. Yeah. Case ruined my career. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, um, no, the thing, I mean, like, um, uh, be, uh, what if you were a very famous rapper? A girl might come home with you. Like, mm. sp- the, gr- the type of women that goes to spoken words uh, evenings, they're not the type of women to go home with you after your performance. That's what they all say. No, like, I never, like, literally, I met girls through spoken word and we dated. Mm-hmm. But I literally, I think I never uh, uh, took like a woman home, which I didn't know. All right, all right. Like all right. this, like sometimes you see like a girl uh, at a spoken word, but you already talked to her like a week before. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, but this, but like I met her, this, I met uh, meet a lot of women, and then sometimes you exchange phone numbers, but not they're coming home with me, because it's not a type of environment. But people right. drink a lot because they're yeah. there to listen to spoken word. Yeah. yeah. So it's not the oh I'm gonna do something crazy I'm gonna you know I'm so horny. Yeah, it's not, not like really. That. No, yeah. it's like it's uh, it's a, mere horniness of the mind. Than Thank the you, body. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> so so. <laughs> I, I want my mind. They, they're making love to his mind, not to his body. Arousing the mind, right? <laughs> right, right, right. right. Interesting. We're, Interesting. we're keeping it so sexual, so c- yeah. conceptual. Yeah, you know? we, we have to. We have <laughs> to. We're a keto. We have to, have to keep it sexual a little. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, well, it's also about romance as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but romance and sex, it's like... Uh, they go hand to hand, right? It's still the, the cliche. A relationship still changes when you have sex with your partner if if yeah. uh, we know it's very cliche about when a girl meets a guy and they have a relationship yeah did you fuck her bro <laughs> it's not that uh cliche because it, you you exchange bodies everything spiritually changes after you have sex mm-hmm. with a woman yeah yeah so um it really changes your relationship and bond with that girl even though you don't have a serious relationship yeah that's True. why that's why uh, a lot of men exactly uh, or, or women let's 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 keep it uh, everybody can do it. <laughs> everybody can do this uh, no but i did, but did this, a lot of people are don't don't expect this to happen and yeah. when they have sex yeah. something happens and then after that they're like oh shit something happened okay yeah. i want to i want to run yeah. now yeah. for example or the exact opposite they're like i'm in love yeah. i want to stay with this person forever because she 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 po- uh, she uh, shared her body with you yeah, that's yeah. a really big yeah but but but, m- but a man also shares yeah. his body exactly and it, and exactly. still it, that's, that's, that's the same thing like men are like we ex- have feelings too yeah, <laughs> well, I had a lot of times I was like I was like I met a girl for, and I was just ha- I had sex and I was in love yeah. and it was it was no reason because we just like talked for like a half an hour yeah. and then she left and I was like uh, a- texting her like uh, yeah, I don't know why but yeah. I think I love you <laughs> because of these chemicals and this yeah. this bond you you do sometimes have uh, yeah. you ever experienced it like uh, you had like negative experiences due to the performances like a you run into someone, you had the number, yeah. slide in the DM, and yeah. like a few weeks after, like you experience and be like, no, not ever again. Like uh, sexually wise, or just as a person, or like uh, yeah, sexually wise. So sticking I, to this. So to I, uh, I had sex with a woman, and it was disappointing. That's what you mean, or uh, for example, or uh, for example, yeah. be like, um, you had like the feeling like, man, I'm in love. You're texting her, and she's yeah, not but like I think age. 
and we're all from the same generation here, mm-hmm. the three of us. 80s. I, I think uh, 80s we're, babies. we're 80s babies. Yeah. I think age, like, um, um, like the older I get, the less uh, Im- impressed I get by, 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 by certain things. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, like now, uh, having uh, if I have if I would have sex with a girl. Uh, who I don't know very well, yeah. but I I mean after the second date or first date, yeah. to fall in love after that, yeah. or the sex has to be mind blown and the intellectual like, so so spiritually <laughs> and physically it has to be mind blowing. But can it be spiritually mind blowing when you don't know her well? Maybe who can say right? It can. There are three point seven billion women on this earth. Uh, s- like uh, so, yeah. hey, bro, I'm I'm still I'm still gonna meet I'm single and I'm still gonna meet a lot of women. I travel a lot, so a lot of fish in the sea, yeah. right? It is true that yeah. uh, the older you get, the 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 better you can handle your emotions. Of course, yeah, uh, you don't uh, you don't expect things when. Uh, when when it's not uh, to be expected. Yet yeah. sometimes <laughs> <laughs> yet sometimes it still uh, happens. Case right. Nietzsche, Case Schopenhauer, yeah. Right. You Sign can call me the philosopher <laughs> space case. Urban, sorry. I well, don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, but it does happen sometimes that you might be overwhelmed, right? And be like, man, yeah. fuck. <laughs> right? Be like, wow. I thought it would you would just be a booty call, but now I'm oh, urging yeah. to slide Tell into me it about here. it. Yeah, I, I, I exposed a little bit uh, earlier, but <laughs> it, 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 it's good that it's a question to him because yeah. I, if I would start uh, with these kinds of experiences, it, it exactly what you said. Yeah. It's because I am older now yeah. that I can like uh, like yeah. see it for what it is. But I had tons of these experiences. <laughs> I was that that uh, that 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 guy yeah. who who was like. Who is like I'm? I'm. I think I like to think of myself that I'm a kind of uh, uh, a thinker and uh, <laughs> and uh, may, maybe something. So I would just attribute all these all these things to the w- woman. Like maybe she would be like uh, totally not compatible with me, but I would yeah. just make up these things that she has. Uh, oh, she's perfect, yeah. and all these things. But just because, in a, for example, the sex was so good, yeah. and in the meanwhile, people were like. Yeah, we're like, let it go. Why? Why are you with this woman? <laughs> she's so yeah. She's yeah. So yeah, that's that's weird how it goes. But the older you get, the better. Um, yeah, the 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 more. Uh, and it's not like the older I get, the less. Uh, uh, like not per se the less sex I have, mm-hmm. but like the the. Like the more the less meaningless sex you have, maybe. Maybe also, but like when when, when I was younger, I used to go out, and you guys remember this, like you had Paradiso baseline mm-hmm. or yep. something in bittersweet. Yeah. And like uh, you met a girl, it wasn't that special. Always like, oh, mm-hmm. the girl, she came home to. It wasn't that like, like when you were young, it, it happened a lot, and we were we yeah. all grew up in where we perform and we go out a lot and we're True. Mm-hmm. exposed to temptation. Right. And it was, and this was before we could film it or like before WhatsApp, remember? Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't yeah. like it was special, but after a while, it's like, oh, cool, oh, Urban is with a girl, okay, he's with a girl, okay, yeah, yeah. That Your friends mean are anything. used to hearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not his girlfriend. <laughs> it's just a girl. <laughs> And it's yeah. not disrespectful to women because maybe the women have the same with us. It's just no, l- like I said, uh, n- no disrespect. But yeah. I always had it more the other way around. That I was like, uh, I was like, okay, let's make this a thing. Uh, I'll call you tomorrow. You and they were like, hey, but it's done. Case? Yeah, I was like, I didn't, I didn't think I was, yeah. but I was. I was like mm-hmm. uh, totally attached with to, to every uh, girl. I had sex with. <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah. a big thing. Yeah, well, yeah. Sometimes it can happen to me too. Like uh, the ego is such a thing to yeah. mess around with, yeah. right? And yeah. um, I'll be honest with you, like uh, like uh, uh, giving compliments to my ego is always a good way to uh, to yeah. get me aroused. And like right. most of the time, when you're dealing in in the industry that we're working with, yeah. a lot of people are always trying to give your ego some compliments. Yeah. So it yeah. works that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, works yeah. that way. You know about it. It's, it's funny because it's the love bomb. It's funny because if you if you meet a girl and uh, you have sex with her and you don't know her well, maybe a one night stand or whatever after two dates, and you don't perform well, everyone has it. You were tired that time. Was fuck. I was not. She didn't saw my best. She didn't see my best side. Full potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So didn't see my full potential. But like, True. is she worth 
showing her my first potential. Be- now, now she has an impression of this guy really sucks in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, why do I give a fuck? Because I'm. But if you really like the girl, I want to see her more. You're like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I have to g- get the second opportunity Ma- to show her my best side. Maybe it's a sign that you really like somebody if you can't perform because maybe you're so, you're build yourself so up exactly. Like, it's be like, good. Why do yeah. you care about that? Right. Exactly. <laughs> but but the other way around is also true. Then when you're when you perform. For whatever reason, maybe be- because you just smoked some really good haze, you perform really well, and you're like, you're like, you, 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 that could also be a problem because yeah. then you think, well, oh yeah, I perform so well, or because she can think it, or you can think it, <laughs> like, okay, this must be something, but it yeah. still can mean nothing. It is yeah. funny that you, <laughs> I, I have an anecdote to share with you guys because, yeah. like, uh, there's a friend of mine from uh, from who I saved the name for now, like, uh, yeah. let's just call him, um, how we call him. Let's call him Daryl for now. Yeah. yeah. So like Daryl, <laughs> the <was> rapper hap- <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> no, not the no, rapper. No, no. Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> but like Daryl, uh, like always when he when he wanted to impress someone and when he de- when he wanted to make sure that it will be or to be continued, so yeah, part yeah. two of the sex, mm-hmm. he would always eat a bag of cashew nuts because <laughs> according like to a, what he like said, a, like a uh, tradition or l- ritual, like. Yeah, yeah, like a ritual. Yeah, like he yeah. always had a bag of cashew nuts, which he didn't share at all. And he would always eat it an hour before he would get to the date or the hour before he would get to the action or stuff yeah. like that. Wow. And, and the th- moment he would eat it, <laughs> normally he always would consider himself like, yeah, that's because I won't fuck you just for one time. It will probably be ah. a second time for it as well. Wow. So he eats the cashew nuts before he goes on his first, his first date? Yeah. And would he brush his teeth, though? <laughs> That's a very good question. That's a very good question. I yeah. think probably he did. Yeah. That's Maybe n- not. That's yeah. nuts. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> that is nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, yeah, it was nutty as a fruitcake, though. <laughs> but yeah, but I do understand these things. It's like something, one guy drinks a coffee, another guy smokes yeah. a joint, another guy eats a bag of cashew nuts. <laughs> it's just something... <laughs> Something Maybe to that give, you the f- give you the feeling that you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Maybe it has something to do with the fact as well, like uh, it seems to be like cashew nuts. It's been yeah. just showed out. Like uh, cashew nuts are very good uh, for, your, uh, for your sperm. Oh, oh is it yeah, true? Yeah, oh, okay. Like it's, uh, I didn't know. It's full with nutrition that can add a lot of... Um, uh, it can add a lot of qualities to your sperm. Oh, okay. Oh. So he, d- he did it with... With a with a philosophy behind, with a theory yeah, behind. Premeditated. Ah. Yeah, premeditated. Yeah, maybe our director can uh, put uh, something uh, on the screen uh, about cashew nuts and how they uh, function a as an aphrodisiac. Does cashew increase sperm count? Now, what does it say? I can't read it from here. Well, at least it gives uh, at least it gives a bit more. Uh, uh, how do I say it? The the it uh, it stimulates the potential. Uh, uh, like walnuts, almonds are rich with. Arginine, an 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 amino acid that has been shown. Yeah, it works. It works. Oh, it increases the sperm production. production. Maybe he got inspired by Peter North. Who can yeah. say? Yeah. This does Peter North. This is a, this is this is a story about Peter North that he also eats cashew nuts because he did. Peter North is he wait. Went I'm on and on. Peter North is a porn uh, star. Porn star, but he's like an 80s porn star who just came and, came and oh, came and came. But that guy, he knew. He was known for coming along. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah. That guy, he had like a super soaker between his legs, man. Be like. So not human, like 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 ridiculously a lot. Yeah, but yeah, he, but yeah, he yeah, probably man. was the was was the one of the first real uh, male porn superstars before Ron Jeremy. Yeah, you also had uh, uh, Ron. No, no, no. It was after Ron Jeremy, but it was uh, also in the time. But if you know two names, line, right? you you know Ron Jeremy and uh, Peter North. Uh, well, the thing is that the funny thing about him is I think uh, he inspired. Uh, the people from uh, Monsters of Jizz. For those who don't know, Monsters of Jizz, they're like a, a platform <laughs> from which they create I'm movies. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the, guessing it has to do with a lot of sperm. Yeah, indeed, indeed yeah. it does. Yeah. Another question. Uh, like, do you use filters with your spoken word? Like, do you really no. like uh, 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 adjust your or adjust your material? I, I also I use filters with Instagram and my coffee machine, yeah. but not with. Uh, yeah, not with the uh, <laughs> with the things. <laughs> not with the t- but but uh, no, I don't. I don't have a. Um, I don't have a. I don't have breaks when it. I don't. I don't, I don't have a something that holds me back. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, regardless of the crowd. 
regardless. But I'm all about, I don't want to say something because it's shocking or provoking. It has to be creative because saying something very direct and provoke ev- anyone can do that like, yeah, yeah yeah so it has like, to have a function yeah really, yeah, or, yeah. yeah 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 i i agree to that too like what i always think about is like uh being the rapper or being the artist you can compare it with uh, with a football player and be like man you can have like dozens of tricks but if yeah. it isn't but it but the moment it's not functional yeah you're right. just messing around you yeah know, you're, you're just a circus artist true yeah right. but i think like the i think maybe you agree all like the goal of um, of art is to be uh, as expressive as you want and don't think in limits and like don't think in filters because then you might uh, not say something uh, even if you want to say that but you're just afraid or true yeah true. but but it, it is still a hard thing because uh, of course you know the places where you can perform and you know how the culture is there uh, yeah. basically but we also t- already talked about uh, w- women performing in the same places and. Yeah who are almost uh, they have to filter themselves because yeah. maybe they will be seen as a slut if they yeah. are too expressive but yeah it, it, it well i do cater to the crowd like i yeah i was booked by like uh i, I don't know it was like uh, do you ever get booked by a christian organization well i got uh, i got booked by uh that would be interesting by yeah. it was like a a, a, a day for f- for for 50 and 60 year old uh, people who were about to retire who had like uh, jobs in the uh, psychology uh, okay. sector. Okay. So then uh, I uh, I knew beforehand. Okay, what what poems am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm not right. gonna do an explicit this explicit one about women because it doesn't. Yeah, make yeah, yeah. I'm Imagine if you would right. mix something with women and Freud, man. They will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, no. But of course you cater to the crowd. Of course you yeah, adjust not. to the crowd. It's hard. It's hard to in, in a crowd like that. It's hard to use yeah. all uh, like philosophical things because they probably read more of those books than uh, than you did. Yeah. So uh, then it's like, uh, hey, but you use Freud wrong. Yeah. No, nah, that's that's never something Freud would say. No, but like <laughs> like sometimes I uh, like in, in certain pieces I use also slang. Okay. As yeah. far as like. 50 or 60 year old people don't know what some slang words mean. You right. might be right. surprised though. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Yeah, only this, this was in Den Bosch. Now we're going oh, to, yeah, yeah now enough. we're going to have the conversation again about there's really a di- difference between the big city and the small city. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, because true. Yeah. True. truly, in, in like in Amersfoort, they know no slang. They, 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 they're all, they're every, yeah, the kids are like getting there. But there's after they really yeah. don't know. They are right. They're very conservative, yeah. which is quite surprising to me. But yeah, it is. Yeah, but it's also uh, how do I call it? Um, something that uh, that is cool that I do know it because yeah. then I, I I am the connection from the, the youth to the old people, so I can explain it to, to them yeah. and be the bridge. Yeah, and be the person who says, uh, "Yo, you really gotta learn. It's not yeah. about spelling anymore, you old people. It's about learning the slang." Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Okay. Well, El Deep, still uh, more than uh, cool. honored that you uh, joined yeah. us. Yeah. I'm liking this vibe. This is a cool vibe. Yeah, Isn't this it? It's a cool vibe. It right? is. Right? We all know, kind of know each other before, but we haven't seen or sat down for a right, long time. Right, right. Especially <laughs> talking <laughs> about like such open uh, items <laughs> like <laughs> sex, <laughs> eroticism, and, and being romance. open about I everything. Love it. Yeah. Emotional, emotion, everything. Talked about everything. <laughs> right, <laughs> man. Don't right. get me. It's perfect. Don't get me uh, teared. So right, now man. we're going to go to a, to a whole new part. We never did this before. No, true. And we don't have any. Did that? It are going to appear some things on our screen. Yeah. Okay. And we are going to s- see if it's true or false. So like. To put it bluntly, we'll see some news items, and uh, regardless if they're strange or not, we have to judge if they're true or false. Can we all participate in this game? Okay, I think we can, or? right? I think so. We can okay. all participate in it. Ah, all right. Ah, there oh, we go. We, uh, we're gonna, we, got it. we have our signs. We got okay, the cue cool. card right here. Cool. Oh, this so is if cool. we think it's true, we <laughs> just say it's true. If we <laughs> think it's false, the we just say it's production value false. on these signs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Unheard of. Yeah, happy to help Shout people. Shout out to the directors, man. Yeah. So she what will be happening is uh, I will read out a statement. It's a sex fact. Uh, you guys hold up the sign, but since it's also a podcast, you also have to vocalize whether you think it's true or false. So don't just hold up the sign. That's just a, oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. a visual it. stick. Let's uh, do it. I'm ready okay. for the. Fir- are you ready for the first? Or? I'm ready. Let's do it. Born ready, man. They already do. In Colombia, a specific tribe has a ritualistic dance in which the woman has to pull off a move if she wants to get laid. She has to trip the man she wants to have sex with while she dances. 
Yeah, this is the question we... Uh, it's a very good we, one, man. Yeah. Well, like, um, this might be a very strange uh, argument for me thinking that it's true. Mm. But I think um, watching a, a series like Narcos, for example, they taught me a lot about uh, magic realism. And that's like kind of like the, 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 the moment when uh, something that is realistic turns into magic or the other way around. Mm. And I think uh, only in Colombia it's possible to have something like this. So I think it's true. That's what I think. Well, okay. Well, I am going to say uh, that it's uh, false because it's ridiculous. <laughs> I would expect the Colombians to co come up with something better than tripping somebody while they're dancing. But uh, yeah, your uh, your arguments, uh, you, uh, you have some great arguments uh, that uh, could convince me that it's true, but uh, I'm going to say it's false. Cool. I'm going to back up my uh, man Urban because uh, I think it's true because uh, Colombia and South America in particular has a really dancing culture. Mm. True. And I also experienced from my experiences in uh, Latin America and with Latin women, Mm. They're really uh, into hurting you. No, no, they're really um, into uh, taking the first step. Oh, right, yeah, right, right, they're right, right. very, like, they're very yeah. take All the women I'm, we met, all I met all the women, all types of women, Asian right. women. If we're gonna generalize a little bit, mm -hmm. Latin women, mm -hmm. they're about taking the first step. Maybe right. because I'm a gringo or something, yeah, 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 and they yeah, see yeah, money. Yeah. The oh, reason gringo. why yeah. uh, <laughs> it's not important, but <laughs> and during a dance, and they dance with you is a sensual, is a sensual, sensible culture. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it's true. Yeah, yes. yeah. Es cool. verdad. That's how it says. Well, do we get the results uh, of immediately? This? Yeah, is it, it true it's, or false? It's a, it's a native dance, and it's absolutely true. Yeah. So that's it's a, a what dance? Bang. The the native, uh, the native residents dance. of uh, Colombia. Okay. They, uh, huh. Wow, that's so crazy to me. I I do I do uh, respect it and uh, like it a little, but I would expect it to be false. Yeah, I would expect it to be false, and I, I would expect them to come up with something better than just trip the person you're dancing yeah. with. Like maybe I'm just. Hold his ear, hold the ear of your you partner. You were really <laughs> on it. You were you were really tripping on the the trip. The uh, tripping, <laughs> the tripping was the problem. You the, were really tripping on the tripping. Like. I was tripping on the tripping, but but I do uh, <laughs> respect uh, the the Colombian women uh, taking initiative. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. that's something I love. Uh, but okay. you should consider, for example, in, in Brazil, like the population is uh, one to five, meaning like. One dude, five women. We're so going to Brazil. Yeah. yeah. We should. <laughs> so maybe we should talk to the directors and be like, hey, if there's a convention, like, uh, yeah. let us report in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. Be yes. like, yeah, buddy. We can even learn Portuguese and do the podcast yeah, there. I'll be the guest again, but we'll just do it over yeah, in Portuguese. Yeah. It's uh, all about podcasting. It's, it's not about the women. women. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So What's enough about the Guajiro tribe. Let's go into the next question. Yeah. Yes. You guys ready? Please. Cool. Yeah. ready. Okay. International Masturbation Month takes place every October. Does it? Yeah, is it, is it every month International Masturbation Month? Is there a month, is there, do you skip a month? Uh, what, what does it mean if, if there's a, if, gonna, if they devote a month to masturbation, yeah. what does it mean? You do it more often than the other month or? Well, they play <laughs> yeah, pro I don't know. It, 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 I, but it, the question remains, it, do people don't masturbate all the time? Is there a thing? Maybe yeah, I think this was made up for people who were like ashamed of doing it. And yeah. then in October, yeah. it's, it's okay. No, actually, I think it's <laughs> false, but for different reasons. I think like, uh, why in October? The yeah. most uh, common thing would be in January because we all had the parties and like January is already been like a very urban depressive. Or the summer because the hormones, the libido yeah. is higher. I think no, but that's when you get laid, right? I think it's true because <laughs> yeah. in a doubt, you get the libido Hopefully, from the yeah. summer. It's almost over. The summer is still in your body, but it's over. And now you need a little bit of happiness back in your life. Like last month when it was still September and then you just touch your dick. You stroke <laughs> it a little. And you come and you think, ah, oh, it feels just like summer. Uh, I think it's false during that. The fact I think in general, I think you need the firm grip because you like you had the parties, you had the Christmas, and now all of a sudden you're diving into January, and January is most of the time is depressing. Yeah. So that's why I think. So you're going for two? I was born in January. You're going. So for, I'm going for false also, just because there's no in, there's no month for masturbation. Yeah, I, 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 I think there is. I don't I like the is. limiting to the month, but I'm saying it's true. Okay, so uh, basically, Case and uh, Luan, 
yeah. even though they voted something uh, else from each other, they, they're both wrong. And Urban uh, is also wrong, but he's most right. So uh, there oh. is a masturbation month, but it's in May. May it's May. masturbation month. Why? It's in because May. of the M, I think. I don't know. <laughs> the M of masturbation. Because they may do it? Or? <laughs> but I wonder, do you think... Uh, so imagine what would happen on Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five uh, May, for Five May fifth for no. the people. Uh. But I'm still, I'm still very interested in. Uh, do you think that uh, that there are people in existence who don't masturbate? I know there's a fashionista girl walking yeah. around here in the Netherlands, yeah. from which I want, uh, will not say her name. Yeah. This is so politically correct. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Urban. Yeah, I will. I have to, you know. <laughs> but the thing is, like from what I heard, even though she looks like she has the master sex appeal, she's not into sex at all, which I think is a very boring. But is she then a virgin, or is she just not into sex? That's something. I also. think she's into sex only for like the means to it. I don't uh, know if she's a mother already, yeah, but yeah. like she never gets horny. I guess not. Wow, that's such a yeah. that's a, wow. If it's, su- it's such a human emotion, right? It's not so normal, right? So like, <laughs> yeah, I do yeah, get the. I some do, people yeah. tend to be noob in that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I get it when you're like uh, d- when you're not uh, comfortable in your own body or depressed. Uh, I when I'm when I'm down, I don't I, I get I don't masturbate as much. No. So so I do get get it if you're if you're uh, yeah you're not comfortable in your own sc- s- skin, but 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 I just. Man, if you're not yeah. comfortable in your skin, at least you won't be into like lifestyle and 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 creating clothes and brands and all that yeah. and being like in being a fashionista. Yeah, for that being in, in the or front glamour. row, being in the front row, being in yeah, the exactly, spotlight. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I think. Okay, get your signs ready. The ancient Greeks used to fashion cock rings out of the eyelids of deceased slaves. True or false? Fuck, that's so sick. If it was true. Uh, now I do know that the Greek mythology did have some disturbing stuff, but like this is this is beyond that, man. So I would say it's false. I would I would say how how can you even make a cock ring out, out of, of an eyelids eyelid? of deceased <laughs> slaves? That must be one hardened eyelid. But probably <laughs> because like the, the material they didn't have like the di- they didn't have the silicone material yet. No, maybe but they that probably the like with mummification. Maybe they put something uh, in it and they put them away for a while and then they come back uh, hardened <laughs> like yeah, cock ring. Yeah. So I'm going to say it's true because uh, yeah, the ancient Greeks were like uh, had no boundaries, so uh, they would just do whatever they felt like, and uh, they made a lot of great art and maybe even cock rings out of eyelids. So you I'm know what? It's true. You just convinced me to change my uh, perspective. Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna say false, just on the sake of humanity. I <laughs> hope, <laughs> like, really hope it didn't happen. Even though it was so, they had slaves. It's a fact the Greek had yeah. slaves. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were really weird when it comes to uh, yeah. the 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 the, the, stat- the sexual right. stuff and All what things. happened with little boys and blah blah oh. blah. Were they very uh, uh, pedophile? Yeah, right. The, that's well, the, what the. Let's w- keep in mind, Aphrodite uh, is part of Greek culture, so that's yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they I had just to hope it's gonna be false. They had to you do g- a lot of strange things to for a better future. <laughs> just keep it at that. So, um, yeah, no, nobody's right or wrong again. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> the the ancient Greeks actually used to make uh, cock rings out of eyelids, but they used goats' eyes because uh, oh. uh, they, they goat, had goat they hard eyelids. eyelids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they would tend the uh, eyelids, and then uh, when they, they have cringe a little up, bone in uh, their yeah. in their eyelids, eh, goats. No, I don't know. Doesn't make it less <laughs> doesn't Just make muscles. it less strange, but yeah. okay, <laughs> I guess. That's what I learned from today. Yeah. One of the <laughs> weirdest sex goat facts I've uh, <laughs> encountered over the last year. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Yes. yes. Great. Get your signs ready. Mucophilia is a fetish where a person is sexually aroused by seeing, hearing, or experiencing yeah. sneezing. This is definitely really? true because mm. there's for everything, for everything in life, there are people who have a fetish about that thing. So about a certain thing, right? Yeah. C- you could get a, have a fetish about this uh, this microphone. Uh, you can have, you can get horny uh, from from just seeing the word false or something. So there must be Whoa, okay. There <laughs> must be a fetish. It's a it. great relief that you were talking about <laughs> that because here I was again, uh, hoping that they were going to remind me about my fetish again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
You mean the sweatpants? <laughs> ah, tell us about that. What's that. No, you don't have to tell us. Just listen to episode one, I think, right? Yeah, and Do two, that. and three, and uh, yeah. <laughs> keeps on going on about it. But the full explanation is only in episode one. Yeah. Because yeah. now we are not going to talk about it. No, <laughs> please don't. What do you think, Urban? Is this a true or false uh, thing? Hard to say. So someone who's sexually aroused by seeing, hearing, or experiencing sneezing. Yeah, I, it's totally true. Man, it's 2018. It's, 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 it's going to be boring, but I, I think the three of us will agree that yeah. we're all of voting for true. There's yeah. no, no way this can be false. Mucophilia. Oh, that's the word. I don't know if the word is uh, correct, yeah. but, but you know, the fetish is actually... The last two ones, Rashid was a r- little bit like, oh yeah, it's in May, not in October. So yeah. you, no one's really right. Yeah, well, yeah, so yeah, yeah, as a matter yeah. of fact, <laughs> it's I not mucophilia, <laughs> but snizophilia. Yeah. I think I think it works, but I think mucophilia maybe it has something to do with like a, a fetish for mucus. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. that's yeah. what I think. But I think it's true though. I think I have this fetish a little, man. About mucus? Fuck. No, about about the sh- about the sneezing. Why? Don't you have the feeling when you sneeze that you come a little? No, <laughs> no. But I have it for my for myself. Every time I sneeze, I have this little. A little experience of an orgasm. Really? Yeah. So that explains so the people would be like, <gasps> <gasps> yeah, yeah, that's me. Shall it's we like call that fetish like automucophilia then? Because you're all yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. It's Wonderful. okay. It's, it's, a, it's a real thing. It's really? a real yeah. thing. I thought so. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, and that's how they call it. Yeah. Mucophilia. Yeah. Really? Okay. The yeah. next one. The first dildo is said to be over 28,000 years old. Okay, let's do the math. Twenty-eight yeah. thousand years y- ago. You're you're into history, right? Well, yeah. well, what what time did we live in? Twenty thousand. Well, what's considered a dildo, though? Did Just they, the did stick. They, yeah. The stick you put in. If yourself. you if you if you're gonna see the caveman had the neon the end the thalers had a stick and the women used it to uh to please themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Of, of course. course. It could, could happen. Just p- stick it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think no. it will be very comfortable given the fact like it's cavemen, yeah. which they pretty much make it out of rocks. Like yeah, but they find they would but die they because find, if you they put that in these anywhere. rocks at the waterfall and they're they're, oh, they're cut smooth exactly and out, smooth right? and soft and uh, and hard. If that's what you want. Sharp one, so, uh, How do you prove when the first <laughs> dildo was made? How do how do you know? I don't know. I wonder. I wonder what the what, like, what Google says about this. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. even though there are very good arguments, <laughs> there are there are still. Yeah. I think it's false. I think it's a bit later. It. I, I think it's true, but it's. It, I think what you said yeah. is true. That is, it's, it's so hard to prove <laughs> because what do you find on the dildo <laughs> that that makes I think it at least. <laughs> I think at least the director has to explain me. Uh, what it looked like if it's true then was it a frozen dildo and there were little little how do you call it like in jurassic park right there were little things in there that th- there was a little ice pick or something a little i don't know yeah. what, what comes out of a uh, pleasure sap that comes out of a I woman mean 80 28 000 years ago of course people had needs to and had a uh, longing for sex that yeah. they were humans also. Yeah, Even but I would think they still would do like the primitive way, like being so just th- like they don't have they don't didn't need dildos as much. Yeah, yeah but I, that's of what course. I think as well. Yeah, of maybe course they did. They it's just uh, <laughs> it's just experimentation. It's not. It's let's not, just let's it's just go to the director and not give exactly us the final sexual. word. Then. What have do you to think? Be uh, did what Luan uh, put his phone in? I'm going for true. Uh, Case going for true. Yeah. Urban is going for false. Okay, so yeah, there was a, a phallic dildo uh, discovered, and it was crafted, and it had a a, a bell end. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, like a eichel. So oh, there yeah. was a, a dickhead on on top of it, <laughs> and it was shaped to be a penis, and uh, it was totally smooth. So it was uh, it well came used. Out of twenty eight thousand years. How did yeah, they it was, uh, mark it? T- it was uh, like carbon dating. Oh yeah. And it was twenty six thousand years before Christ, so that makes it twenty eight thousand oh. years ago. Really? Wow. Yeah. One drop of Tabasco under your foreskin desensitizes your penis, allowing for better endurance during penetrative sex. I heard about this. Yeah, I would as a matter of fact... Um, you tried it. No, no. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but as a matter of fact, I know uh, some countries where they're familiar with it, if okay. I'm correct. Okay. So I think it's true. Yeah, I would also say it's uh, true. Um, it's also... I hear a lot of stories about Tabasco and uh, sex-related stuff, so... Yeah. Yeah, but it is it is strange. I would I would agree, especially with the first sentence, that it's it probably does desensitize your penis. But yeah, allowing for better for better endurance doing penetration sex that, that that must differ per person per person. Yeah, yeah. of course. 
But uh, yeah, I would say it's true. I, I would. Uh, I think this is. I'm gonna uh, say under your first skin. Well, that's actually that's a very good one because like if you're circumcised, that means like you can't put it anywhere. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and also like it has less. Uh, sen it's less sensitive, right? For what I know. Yeah, it must be because it's it's like yeah, all yeah, the time yeah. on the clothes and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, but but like circumcised people can't attest to that because they have no experience having a foreskin unless they did it at an older age. So yeah. we have to ask somebody who transition well, it probably works you can probably just put it all out put it uh, under your dick head and then uh, it probably sticks a little yeah okay i think um it's finalize your votes now. one finalize drop of tabasco votes. does um in affect something but mm. not the endurance during uh sex so something else maybe something with the, the sperm but i think something else so we have two now. trues and one false yes or are you joining uh, luan false yeah yeah, I was uh, yeah, okay, I'm just going to say true because but I also had this this thought that the f the fir the first sentence I agree with, but I have my doubts about the second sentence. But uh, mm. okay. okay, I so think true. Yesterday, uh I tried it and it hurts like fucking hell. Okay. And you shouldn't do it. It doesn't desensitize it. It's just like no. It just ow, hurts. Ow! Ow! <laughs> stop it, god. Please stop it. <laughs> and if you put that in a woman, there's vinegar in Tabasco, so you'll cause a yeast infection. So don't ever do that. Oh, uh, this is really? absolutely false. Okay, next one. Bam, Ludacris has a foot fetish. True or false? Why not? Fuck. I like that he that he came up with a hip hop related statement. Yeah. He knew yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Like, like it. Luda is also weer een. That's a, that's a, that's a I wish he said like a KD from uh, 018. Then I would know that it's true because he told he said uh. that in a song as well. <laughs> yeah, I think he has. Yeah, Luda, of course he has a foot yeah, fetish. I think also. Yeah, I would say uh, true. Okay, yeah, so yeah, he might, we don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's screw you. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Luda, he's, he's presenting like, why uh, not? Fear Factor right yeah, now. Yeah, why he's not? not really, uh, really releasing any music. That's uh, it's a shame. Huh. <laughs> yeah. He's such a, such a good. But then he had to, had to make some problems with Drake, yeah. and then now it's, his career is over. So really? Just bad. like that? No, nah, it, 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 it already was over, but his attempt to, to jumpstart it again via this and Drake didn't yeah. work out. Okay, ah. guys, ready for the new uh, yeah. new Bring fact? It. Bring it. The most expensive sex toy in the world costs one hundred and eighty thousand yeah. dollars. It's it's wow. it's ludicrous that that, that <laughs> people that people would spend this kind of money on uh, on, a, a, platinum, on a sex toy. It's but a platinum dildo or something. Yeah, yeah but I think it's a I think it's a robot. Yeah, there are handbags <laughs> who are who are who are this price. So there must be sex toys that are this price. So yeah. I, I would I would say, yeah, I was. Uh, I think it's true, but I think it's probably even more. I wouldn't be surprised that it's more. Yeah, I would also say it's true because uh, that, that that I also must comment on that. I do think that it is way too expensive. You could have a great time and have sex with some real people for that kind of money. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would do. I would say it's true. Yeah, I think it's true because of the commer commer commercial uh, commercialisati commercialisation. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> we understand <laughs> of uh, of the se sex industry and of the fact that people have weird fetishes and they are 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 they want to spend a lot of money on it. There yeah. are rich people who have minds of you don't know. Right. They'd rather choose a sex toy right. than a real person. True. Right. Okay. So. Um, the the most expensive sex toy in the world used to be one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. It was a platinum uh, a vibrator, uh, yeah. and then so somebody right. broke the record uh, and they made a one point three million dollar vibrator. And then somebody still decided that that wasn't enough, and they made one that is now two point four million. And it's a vibrator and it has a crown on it. And uh, maybe can we can I pull up a picture. Can I see it? <laughs> yeah, can we, we uh, put it up on so the Forbes or something? I'll, I'll pull it up in the show so you guys okay. see it next week when yeah, you okay. cool, cool. show and replay. Please do. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, wonderful. so you're one, all wrong. One million <laughs> vibrator. Yeah, yeah two point four million. Two point four million. Yeah, but, it, but what, what you said is true. There's a point that people uh, get rich or have yeah. money, and then there there's no th any any price is okay yeah. because they just there. What what do you do with all this money? Yeah. Buy like It's dildo. the needs, right? It's the needs. First, you'll go for safety. Then you'll go for uh, comfort. Then yeah. you'll go for uh, material stuff. And yeah, at yeah. one point, once you reach it all, like what's the next arousing yeah. thing? A platinum dildo. I guess yeah, so. Yeah. Goals in life, man. Goals in life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bam. Ready for the next question. 
Dutch people currently rank sixth in the world when it comes to having the most sex. Yes or no? No. Gays and urban. There are so many cultures which are very more passionate and very more easy we are closed people yeah 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 that yet again still open-minded because like it was on dutch television where i saw like dicks and tits and stuff swinging all around just in normal but movies. does it mean we have more sex yeah you don't we tend know. to <laughs> be open we <laughs> tend to be open-minded <laughs> yeah. about it so why not yeah maybe maybe not like you said uh, maybe not in 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 holland per se but yeah. uh, but when we go to brazil uh, <laughs> when we go abroad maybe when we go on vacation to spain we have sex with uh, more people than the local than the locals so yes. uh when we go to you at the mar marbella uh, yeah i still think it's <laughs> false though given the fact like i'm talking about greece france brazil germany in us that's already five countries that i'm talking about from what i know like they thrive on sex yeah well okay. th 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 those are one two three four and five and we are six so i'm gonna say it's true <laughs> man i haven't even talked about the asian countries yet uh, no the asian countries don't have sex right you think i thought the asian people were like uh, real shy and uh, like uh, they they don't really have uh, i have think sex like uh, like we do yeah did it go to the to the little weird houses where foreigners aren't allowed and you get to uh, have sex with a with a girl in the school outfit. Man, don't forget about the history of geishas or geishas. Yeah. Is it geishas? Ge geishas. Yeah. Geishas. In uh, Japan, right? The, yeah. yeah. The, the, the female that, that, that paint and stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I think it's false and I actually want to add like a, a yes. list for my f uh, the first six countries. Yeah. I think Brazil. By far. I think like it's gonna be also like a weird like a not knowing like Guatemala. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just, you just Moldavia? Mm. Um It's like you're talking out of Al experience. Albania. <laughs> 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 I think Thailand because of the sexual uh, yeah, yeah, industry. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Not because the people really but the, the sexual Thailand. Yeah. And maybe an African country which is not the most famous country. Yeah. Um, I think in countries where uh, monogamy, because in some countries monogamy uh, or polygamy is like uh, allowed and stuff. So True. Mm -hmm. Of course, in the Arab countries, they would never give the number because it's very taboo to yeah, have yeah. sex before marriage. So we would never know the exact number. But there are also West African countries where polyga polygamy is, uh, is allowed. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. supported. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you would There's something you, interesting you would about that as well. That I want to talk about later yeah. on. But. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. False. But I thought the the what you said about, uh, for example, the the Philippines. Yeah. I think there are more Dutch people probably having sex in the Philippines than, than Philippines. Philippines, right? <laughs> <laughs> or more yeah. tourists, yeah. maybe not Dutch. Okay. okay. Finalize uh, your votes, please. False. False. It's true. Okay. Yeah. So it's absolutely false, and it's it's really <laughs> sad that like Dutch people are the number eight. In the world for having the least sex. Ooh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So only 63% of uh, Dutch people have sex weekly. Man, that's a boring life. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Japan is at the absolute number one of having the least sex. They're at 34%. So really? Case was right about the Asian country. Yeah, then no, he was right about Japan. No, but doesn't say anything about other I'm Asian countries. And, who, and, and which, num which are the top five countries having the most sex? People in Greece have uh, uh, the most sex, Where? followed by Brazil Where? and People? Russia. Where? Greece. Greece like is I the said, number yeah, one yeah. country. Yeah. Brazil, Brazil it's obvious. Russia? Yeah, and Russia. I would never, I would not guess Russia. No. Well, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not strange. It's no? not strange. No? Well, explain. <laughs> well, first off, like uh, if you go to like Pornhub and like, I'm not saying that it's Russia, but w from what you can see, like uh, there's a lot of uh, actresses who are who have Ukrainian yeah, right. uh, descents, right. which will lead back to Russia. Okay. There's a lot of them who are in the industry, so it's not surprising to me. Brazil oh, is right. far there's from surprising, of, uh... and Greece also is far from surprising to me uh, as well. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to Greece a lot of times, but I didn't have the vibe that like oh that, that people are really having sex a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I well, didn't actually, I didn't have that vibe. Well, yeah. actually, I uh, <laughs> I ran into some Greek girls, which was like uh, okay, <laughs> Yeah, actually, it was during was the inside time. a Greek girl. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I just met them. I just yeah, met yeah, them. Yeah. But from what I saw, they were very open about it. Okay, okay. 
Okay, are you ready for the next question? <laughs> yes. Which happens to also be the last question. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay, here it comes. Oil-based lubes are the best form of lubrication for silicone toys. Yeah, you already gave this uh, answer away, though. But yeah. uh, it's, it's going you to did. be false. Because... Uh, Why did he give the answer away? Because he showed us the flashlight exactly. available at Kilo. And he explained it. Now. Yeah. He explained it that, it's that water base are the best ones to use for toys. Ah, yeah. yeah. So so this so, uh, thank you, Rashid, for already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the green card. Hey, Don't yo get your flashlight yeah. right now. <laughs> Kilo.com. <laughs> <laughs> you guys also know why, uh, why you shouldn't use oil? Uh, because it will stink. So you got one vote for stinking. It leaves a residue with that you is harder to clean out than. Ah, uh, hard to clean gets a vote, and L says. Why not use oil? I think just because it's uh, dangerous for uh, your body health. Uh, anything that's related to your body. Yeah. Well. Uh, th yeah. Or well. Okay. As far as loops. No. Okay. Uh, so he's right, it stinks. Uh, you're right, it's hard to clean. But the worst reason is that it will eat away at silicone because it doesn't ah. gel well. Ah. Okay. Just use a water uh, it water It kills your loop. dildo. Ah. Yeah. It kills your flashlight. You can throw away your uh, $200 uh, sex toy if you uh, ah. use oil on it. That's so. why they make, made a platinum one. Well, <laughs> smoking all these joints at least made us sharp enough to remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. so, so what's going to happen is like uh, me and Case were locking horns with the... Uh, the poems, yeah. But uh, you will start it off, yeah. Like uh, to set the bar. Okay, I'm gonna. It's gonna be a short one. Sure. If you if if you don't mind. It's okay. Because I'm looking at the lines. It doesn't look like a short no, one. Be, no, because like th these are. I'm gonna do one of the blog, and those are usually shorter ones. Oh yeah, ones, right, so, right, right. Uh, it's not like a spoken word piece of six minutes. I love short, so that's okay. 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 Are we listening? Yes, I'm listening. Okay. Your sense of timing is always spot on, like a Dalmatian. <laughs> You're able to find the right words when we're lost in translation. I'm just patiently waiting for the right time at the right moment, hoping I could conquer you with some tight rhymes and some nice poems. When darkness hits in my lifetime, you keep the lights glowing. You always show the right signs, therefore you've got the right mind to keep your life going. Wow. Never falling. Divine answers when heaven's calling. With you, everything's inclusive. That's why I always put my all in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> impressive! Very Thank nice. Thank you very much. And when you put your all in, it means like you put your dick in. All your in, right? but all That's inclusive, all right? All right? inclusive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was obvious, but uh, it's funny for me to say. Okay, I, I'm curious about you guys. Okay, well, uh, shall I do mine? Rock paper scissors for it, or okay, uh, on three. One, two, three. Yes, Drop. it's me. I hate this game. Okay. It's okay to want me to do some real bad things to you. Okay. But I'm into good loving. I love me a good woman. I'm new to the toys and all that, but I'm pretty sure I can make you laugh. So just <laughs> relax as we come together as one. Hit you from the back, cause that ass is the bomb. <laughs> we turn from wild animals into normal people, but baby, my body, it always needs you. Nice. That's it. Yeah. The first spoken word, guys. Nice, nice, nice. Is nice. it okay? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay, Erwin, let's go. Yeah. Cool. Um, my one is called Fountain Dreams. Oh, mm. woo. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, mommy, bless us, bless me with thy tsunami. Let my phallus erupt thy G-spot and senses like the flavor and taste of you, mommy. Long have I yearned and dreamed about seeing you spray like a fountain. Thus, being aroused by the moment, I will enter your love hole with my unmatched mountain. Woo! Treat me, oh dear. Tease me, oh dear. Let me enjoy the sight of you with toys and candles. Let me satisfy you like the man because the boys can't handle. Oh. <laughs> Good girls go to heaven, bad girls go to Sin City. So for those who don't understand, bitch, let's bust a nut, make it rain on my peep, and let's get busy. Woo! Okay. Nice. Awesome. I nice. love this. 
<laughs> I love this clash of styles. Yeah, we we we, we could we could probably perform uh, to, together uh, 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 at yeah. Lowlands with yeah. him. Yeah. If you need a field trip, just let us know, man. Yeah, L Deep case. Now bookable via L Deep for yeah. spoken exactly. word artists. Yes. Might even make a posse yeah. card with spoken word. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. So now spoken. I have to choose between. This is like choosing between so uh, hip hop and spoken word. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard. like because you 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 both of your poems w- were really uh, a different style. We're really perfect. You were gonna say right? Or <laughs> like the best poems you ever so heard. So like, like um, case was uh, case was more direct. Yeah. Urban was 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 metaphorical with the fountains and the mountains and the thy. He he used yeah. old English. Of course, man. Yeah, 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 a little Shakespeare yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, inspiration. Yeah, yeah. Had to yeah, be, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 Case gave us that like 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 hit it from the back mm. and uh, like yeah. I, I can make you la- <laughs> I can make <laughs> you, you laugh. laugh. Yeah. <laughs> See, I yeah. even remember That's the something not everybody comes to it. It's a, so, it's a hard um, one. But to keep it, uh, <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> because now one guy is going to be mad. If gonna yeah. Yeah, no, it's okay. We're, we're yeah, I'll done. break the whole we're studio all done, for I'm going to, I'm going to, sorry, Case, I'm going to choose Urban because of okay. his poetical uh, approach. Oh, I didn't use punchlines, <laughs> did I? Fountains, yeah. Mount, yeah, 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 die. Yeah. Uh, well, it's okay. But yes. Case. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Okay, awesome. guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you win again, uh, Urban. Winning! <laughs> Tiger blood. Well, on that note, uh, I think we can uh, wrap, the sh- uh, wrap, wrap up the, the show, sh- right? Yeah, yeah indeed. Most certainly. Thanks for coming, LD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I never, I never want to talk to you again. <laughs> I'm done with you after this. What are you wanted to say, wrap the shit up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's yeah. just wrap it in, indeed. Yeah. I would like to thank Space Case. It's a pleasure. Order, as always. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Aldeep. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, Kiro. And of course, for those who've been viewing, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah. uh, just make sure you don't comment about the sweatpants because, like, it's yoga pants to start with, first off. You know, it's them. yoga pants, man. It's yoga pants. And if you want to know why, just check a lot of songs about yoga pants, man. Yes. I said my share. So, like, uh, see you guys until the next episode. And. Uh, Keep staying sexy and positive, man. Until next time. Ciao. Bye.